everyone. I wish I could have joined you all in person for this exciting event. I'm here speaking to you today as the Assistant Secretary for Health. It was the honor of my life to be nominated by President Biden and confirmed by the Senate. I recognize the importance of serving in this role. Actually, throughout my life, I have felt the call to serve, inspired by my Jewish upbringing. In my career in academic medicine, I served my patients, my students, and the staff at the medical center. I also come from academic medicine. I have the experience as a former state health official, but also I understand the significance of serving as a visible representation for transgender individuals, especially for transgender youth. And like Vice President Harris said, I recognize that I may be the first, but I know I will not be the last. Now, we have all faced a very difficult and challenging time. COVID-19 has been taxing physically and mentally, especially among our country's most vulnerable populations. We've all felt the strain. Despite the heavy toll it has exacted, COVID has also reminded us of a fundamental truth that we need each other, that our happiness and our very survival depends on our connection to one another and to our community. That spirit of community, including the community you all feel with your fellow teen leaders, is what makes our world just so wonderful. And it is what we need now more than ever as we seek to bring this pandemic to an end. Now, I take time in every presentation to encourage everyone in the audience to get your COVID-19 vaccine, and if you haven't done so, your booster, and to encourage you to harness your role as leaders in the community to help others, help your family and your friends, and help them get vaccinated. The more people that are vaccinated and boosted, the quicker we can return to a more normal life. The fact is that this pandemic has affected some communities far more than others, and this underscores the profound disparities in health that have plagued our nation for far too long. While we work to tackle the pandemic, we will not take our foot off the gas when it comes to preparing for any future public health challenges. Right now, our nation's blood supply is critically low and could impact our ability to provide life-saving medical treatments. I mention this because in the past we have seen students step up and host blood drives at high schools, colleges, and synagogues across our nation to address this need and encouraging others to make an appointment to donate blood. Now, I would like to highlight the importance of diversity. Diversity for a university, a medical center, in business, in government, really in every organization. I strongly feel that diversity in all of its myriad and wonderful aspects should be welcomed and even celebrated for the way that it strengthens and enhances any organization. I encourage you all to embrace and emphasize diversity in all that you do. Everyone deserves to reach their full health potential and we need to continue to strongly advocate for the most vulnerable in our communities across the nation and across the world. This includes LGBTQI plus youth. Sadly, sexual and gender minority youth, youth that are LGBTQI plus individuals, are at risk of increased mental health issues and increased risk of suicide. Now, I want to emphasize that it is not being LGBTQI plus that increases your risk of having mental health issues such as depression, anxiety, PTSD, suicidal ideation. It is the bullying, the harassment, and the overt discrimination that LGBTQI plus youth face that lead to those mental health outcomes, whether at home or at school. Now, these are our family members, our friends, our neighbors, our students and coworkers. And as a world, we can and we must do better. Faith, community groups, and peers are poised to help ensure that all children and youth have access to safe, stable, nurturing relationships and environments so they can reach their full life potential. Now, I am a positive and optimistic person, and I firmly believe that we can all work together to come out of this stronger and build a better future for all of us. Thank you.